So I was looking through it, and apparently what happened was nude sunbathers were startled by a group of deers. They got lost. How far did they run? It's a deer. Deers don't run that fast, what? brother. Bro, you can eat that. That's fine. It's a deer, bro. <laughs> Just throw a rock at it. It's okay. <laughs> a deer. A deer. A deer. Apart from that. <laughs> and this, and this, it's Bambi. <laughs> Welcome back to Critical Banter, where we take the best bits from your favorite late night shows and package them into a podcast. So, for today's episode, we'll be bringing back the best friend check, starting with Mr. Kushagra, and we'll also be doing the fan favorite segment, Kaka Be Cucked. But before that, throughout the week, we've got me and Miguel. We don't have Rohit, but we have Kush. Yes, sir. And we have Sen. Hello, everyone. Yes, we are without the one that is called Rohit. Um, so, Sydney, we're currently in our second week of lockdown, meaning we are virtually recording. Um, and about 10 minutes ago, we got a message in the group chat. <laughs> Boys, my internet is down. Won't be able to join today, it looks like. And so here we are in 2021 in a first world country. And this man that we call Rohit can't even get together, even semi-decent internet to, get, to jump on a call to record with us. What are we going to do with this man? First, let's also mention that this is the second time we've tried to record today. <laughs> you know, it's, it's already 7, you know, it's nearly 8 p.m. on a Sunday. We've got better on things a Sunday to do. Sunday night. You know, we've got rest, work day tomorrow. But, you know, we tried as we normally do in the mid-afternoon. Um, we're here on a, on a software video. As we said, my video wasn't working last week, but I, you know, went out of my way to sort out my video. <laughs> and then we all join. And then this man joins no video. We, we say, you know, we say hello. We thought it was a dramatic pause from him of like 10 <laughs> seconds. And then he replies, hello, in like an Optimus Prime filter in his voice. <laughs> it sounded so robotic. And so, we've realized his download, his upload was disgusting. So, we're like, you know, what, let's try it again later today. And unfortunately, the internet's actually down. For one, I'm looking very forward to edit this episode purely because there is no Rohit in this episode. <laughs> you, have, you have half your edit time without Rohit here. <laughs> it's going to be a seamless edit this week. But it's not like we... This is nothing new. We did literally did virtual recording for about six months last year. How? How is this even possible? <laughs> it's pretty shocking. It's it's quite shocking. And I think the, the moment that really got me um, in our first attempt at recording was... <laughs> Just a frozen Rohit for like 35 <laughs> seconds at least, just frozen. <laughs> then he comes back and goes, hello. <laughs> and he had the audacity to say he's replying instantly to us. <laughs> Even though there was like a 15 second delay on our end. Disgusting behavior. He tried to show us a bit earlier as well that his internet was a bit dodgy. So, he sent through a screenshot of his internet speed <laughs> test. He was getting sub 1 megabits per second. He was getting 0.82 megabits per second download. Dude, I'm pretty sure Tunisia has better internet than that. That is absolutely <laughs> outrageous. But anyway, we will we'll go. We'll plug on with that row. But like we said, we are in lockdown right now, and um, basically the rules are pretty simple. You know, you can't leave the house unless it's for essential work or for groceries and whatnot or exercise. So it's pretty straightforward. You know, don't go out unless you absolutely have to. So Manny, what did we see on our Instagram story about an hour ago? So we're you know Sunday night. We're all at home waiting. For the work day, we're relaxing. And then on our Instagram, we see bloody... First, we see one person put up a story. They're at a food truck. But, like, it's one of those snaps where they're all holding their food. So, you see about seven people's different hands in the snap, mm. all rubbing shoulders with their food <laughs> out. And then you see all these seven people. So, we know all seven. So, we have all of them on Instagram. We see all of their stories reposting each other, storing it again. I was going to comment about that. So, I haven't looked at Instagram for, uh, I think, most of the day. I literally haven't looked. So, I opened it and I saw five of their stories back to back and it was the same fucking shit over and over. And I think we talked about this before about, you know, things that I want to get rid of on Instagram and that was restoring people's story with no value add. And that's actually what I saw back to back to back. And so, one, they're breaking COVID rules. And secondly, <laughs> they're being nuisances on social media. <laughs> Probably more importantly. Is this the grounds to call the police? Like, genuine, I'm being serious. So, said you said things to get rid of Instagram. These are people to get rid of on this planet Earth. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm going to say. Like, you, you're breaking rules. I think that that is horrible behavior. This is also something I wanted to talk about. Why is it so hard for people to stay indoors? I know there's a lot of people out there whose story, Instagram story, go out to social media. 
and they are airing their troubles as if like it's the apocalypse, as if like zombies are coming and they're <laughs> they're right outside the door. It's it's not left for dead, dude. You're staying inside. That's all you have to do. And left for dead. <laughs> people go outside. They're rubbing shoulders and they willingly and knowingly take a story and put it out to other people. I don't know what they're getting mm. out of it. Yeah. So, today's instance wasn't the first time we saw this. Oh, who is this man? Mm. Name and shame. Name and shame. No, no, no. We we can't. Uh, can't. Name and shame off air. But I think it was was yesterday. We saw a completely different group. They posted a photo. But it's one of those, like, physical photos where you can see the date of when it was taken. So, we saw, you know, 3rd of July, which is yesterday. And then it's him (laughs) and a group of 10 friends at his house. In one of our group chats, like, mm, yeah, do yeah, we yeah. have the right to call the police right now? <laughs> if we anonymously ring up the police and be like, hey, these guys, because the rule is, what's the rule? Five people you're allowed in your house? No, it's no one. No one. You can't have anyone. Oh, you yeah. can't have anyone. We're in lockdown. So, literally yeah. zero visitors, but we've had 10 people. So, we're thinking, are we right to call the police here? Can we dub them in? I think we can and we should have. We missed it. We actually missed it. Oh, well, we have another chance now. Yeah, we have another one now. <laughs> <laughs> it's like those, you know, those streamers where you call the police. What's the official term for it? You swat them. Swat them. But it's a legitimate <laughs> swat, though. It's legitimate. <laughs> to these seven people, we sent SWAT teams to their houses. We got the, we got the receipts. We got the photo proof. So there was another thing as well. So like they they tried to do a food truck thing. Um, and so over this last weekend, they had like a drive through food truck where you drive in, you order like on like a, they give you a QR code to scan your order and they bring the food to your car and then it turns out so they did it on Friday night and then on the Saturday night what happened was on the Friday night like so many people showed up that the car park literally like the line for the drive through backed up all the way to a main road so the council had to shut it down <laughs> so like what the hell why are their food trucks even open at this time yeah look I get it's your livelihood but I just don't want to die to be honest, like, <laughs> no, uh, we're not asking for the main reason. Not asking for too much. <laughs> yeah. just, just life. Kush, have you left your house in the last week? Yes, no. Uh, no I've gone to like, um, like, gone for walks and whatnot. Swap this man. Park. <laughs> <laughs> Kush's address you go, is. <laughs> you can go out for exercise and stuff. So I went out to do like a little walk around my local park. But even then, there's like a lot of people that are going around for, like, these regular walks and exercises. And I don't know if you guys saw the video of Bondi, Bondi Beach. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was disgusting. Where it is just, it is literally the definition of rubbing shoulders. People are running surfboards out, they're jogging, they're passing each other. Dogs are there as well to assist in this whole endeavor of (laughs) (laughs) COVID-19. And it's just nonstop. There's just so many people in the water these days. And it's the middle of winter. It's literally the lowest temperature tomorrow is like two degrees. Bro, you don't want to be in the water. So stay home, please. It's like, yeah, this person wakes up three degrees and he's like, you know what? It's a great idea to just strip down, head into the freezing water and wake myself up. Like, brother, no. <laughs> That's not <laughs> brother. it. All right, boys, we're bringing back the best friend check. I mean, if you remember from last time, all four of us took turns individually throughout four weeks. And um, by the end, it turns out that Sen was the best friend of all three of us. Let's go. <laughs> so, we're doing a round two. And this time, we're spicing it a little bit up. Um, there'll be questions from specifically within the past year, um, as well as questions overall that were not included in the last best friend check. Um, last time as well, Sen did take the victory for this best friend check. Um he didn't get a pass rate, but he still won, <laughs> which is a shameful for <laughs> Roe and Meeks, I have to say. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Um, Roe is not here today, but um, we did spend 10 weeks in advance because of his internet to get through these questions. Um, he sent in <laughs> his answers by Oz Post, and I received them <laughs> actually just 30 minutes ago. <laughs> standard delivery <So>. or express? <laughs> it was standard, unfortunately. got delayed by COVID. <laughs> <laughs> so, we have his answers, Bush. We have his answers. Wow. And... <laughs> He is competitive. He is competitive today. So, don't worry, boys. It is all three of us. Oh, here. so you've, you've seen how many marks he's gotten. I've seen him. And uh, I'm not going to say anything. It is, it is um, well, we're about to find out. Respectable, here it sounds. Go. Respectable. Let's just say it's better than last time. So, <laughs> I'm very happy to see quiz. <laughs> <laughs> okay, actually, ju- just to um, set this out, this is actually a lot easier than last time. But anyway, let's begin. Pressure. Um, the very first question. How many Transformers memes have I made in a TikTok career? <sighs> <laughs> oh, <opposite laughs> dot, you reckon? 
On the dot. It's closest to. Closest to. Kush, come on. Uh, okay, closest How to. How can we verify closest. Rodin and actually look this up? I'm going to trust the man. It's a mistake. <laughs> That's a he got, so he got it wrong then. <laughs> All right. So, Transformers memes. The start of our TikTok career. It's where we, you know, got our initial followers. Uh, the origins. Me sitting on a toilet seat and deciding to upload a Transformers <laughs> meme. <laughs> the upload many stinkers, though, because there's a few bangers, but. Dare I say all of them were bangers? Oh, <laughs> Transformers was down successful. Settle down. Settle down. <laughs> there was uh, Matt, Matt, you can you can answer first for this one. Fucking cheeky, Sunny. Uh, <laughs> um, fifteen. So do I have to get exact number or is it closest to? It's we'll not do closest, closest to. to. No, don't let him fucking price <laughs> prices right this, bro. <laughs> Fuck off. I'm trying to think of what other movies we also. Well, sorry, you. You memed in that little era. Kush's very first critical ban to TikTok post was Communist Elmo. <laughs> Which I rate. Even to this day, I still think that was a great I meme. I completely forgot about that. <laughs> I, I'll never forget. Oh, my God. Um, all right. We'll say, I'll say 12. So, right. Am I doing closest to? Yeah, why not? Sure. Rohith was the closest. He said 26, and the answer was 25. You so did 25, 25 Transformers TikToks. <laughs> I went from one to four. Oh Five, I haven't yet memes. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> stay tuned. <laughs> Almost right. a month worth of TikToks. <laughs> Second question. Who is my favorite late night television show host? So there's going to be a bit of multiple choice here. Conan O'Brien, Craig Ferguson, Graham Norton, or David Letterman? Ooh, there's an answer sticking out to me. I yeah, I know the answer. I just want to see what you're going to say. <laughs> so I'm just going to let you say <laughs> the answer first every time. Mix. <laughs> Let, Letterman's a goat, but that's that's what's in my head. He is. He's, he is. He actually he's a very but, good interviewer. But it's not your favorite, Kush. Your favorite is B. Jay Leno. Mister <laughs> 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 <Ms>. Ferguson. <laughs> Yeah, I, I want to lock in Dennis Ferguson as well. Big well Julie, it's Fergie. All three of you boys got it right. Very well there done. We go. On the board. Let's go. Question number three. What is or was my most anticipated film of 2021? There are more multiple choice. Oh. Nomadland, Shang-Chi, Godzilla v. Kong, Matrix 4, Tenant, or Dune? Can you, can you say the second one again? Uh, Shang-Chi. You're going to get cancelled for that, mate. <laughs> you can't call him that anymore. <laughs> oh, my Stop. God. So, <laughs> answer B will be bleeped. <laughs> so, most anticipated. Oh. Yeah, that's... Is or was, so it could have been released. Of 21. Already. 2021, that's correct. All of these were 2021 releases. You can okay, go first, well, then. All right, fine. <laughs> well, straight off the bat, Tenant was 2020. So, I can knock that one out. Um... So was Nomadland, I'm pretty sure. Late it was released in 2021 in Australia, though. Ah, the st- technicalities now, Kush, come on. Um, <laughs> didn't even know there was a Matrix 4. Should have stopped after one, if you ask me. Um, <laughs> June was set to release in 2021, I think, but they pushed that back. Um, what was the other one? The other one was Shang-Chi and Godzilla v. Kong. Okay, we can safely rule out Godzilla v. Kong. <laughs> can we, though? Can we? <laughs> I think so. Um, you know what? I'll say, I don't think you were looking for Shang-Chi. I'll be honest. I think, you know what? I'll go back to June. I'm going to answer it. Lock in June. Look, when you read out the answers, the one that spoke to me was the high school sci-fi book that no one read. So no, hang on. Kush has read it. I know Kush has read it. I so. have read it. I actually read it recently. And exactly. Well so, if read. he read it recently, he'll have liked the book. He finished it. He would anticipate the movie, want to see the movie. So, I'm also going June. Very well done. All three of you boys did get it right. It is indeed June. <laughs> Surely I get extra marks for actually working that one out systematically. Um, no. no. Um, <laughs> so the next question. In 2021, what was the longest time that I was not on an episode for the Critical Banter podcast? Oh, that's... 2021. It's a good one. You've been even better this year. You know, attendance is up. Well. Attendance is almost 100% these past four weeks. So, just how many weeks in a row you missed? That's correct. All right. Consistently. Uh, I'm going to lock in three weeks you missed. Undershot there, unfortunately, Sen. Sen five. Wow, he, th- he thinks I'm that absent. Yes. <laughs> well, we, and he's correct. He's damn right. Five. <laughs> <laughs> you undershot there, buddy. 
<laughs> was it five weeks? Kush has his week. Well. He doesn't come for like six weeks, but then he comes four weeks in a row. <laughs> <laughs> the funniest thing is, <laughs> Rose said eight weeks. He's always <laughs> off in two months. <laughs> two months. I didn't appear on an episode, he says. He, he thought you took paternity leave or something. <laughs> <laughs> Long service leave. <laughs> Ah, I gave you more credit than you deserve, Kush. I said three. <laughs> yeah, I was actually surprised. I said, well, he's. Next question. I've watched multiple comedian stand-ups across a variety of streaming services this past year. Out of these choices, which one is my favorite? Daniel Sloss, Bill Burr, Bo Burnham, or Dave Chappelle? The answer is C, Bo Burnham. Lock it in, Eddie. I was also going to go... Bo Burnham, because that's all you've been talking about recently. <laughs> I was going to say, for two weeks straight, that's all I've heard from Kush's mouth. <laughs> and all three of you are right again. All three are doing very well, I have to say. Very well, nicely done. We learned from last time, Kush. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or I made these questions a lot easier. I've sprinkled hints throughout this past year. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, who is my favorite UK rap artist currently? Oh, We've got choices. AJ Tracy, RD, Tion Wayne, or H? You can answer what first, Sen. <laughs> Mix is this confident now. Oh, I don't know, bro. I was still expecting you to say other names. I thought that was all one artist. <laughs> Maybe I'm not so confident. Um, I, mean, I think it's either A or B, because I, I know you guys were talking about H a few weeks back, and it scared me that Kush had this much in-depth knowledge of UK <laughs> rap. <laughs> but Mix, what about my little AJ Tracy period? Oh, I do remember... Look, I'll let Sam AJ Tracy's the only one out. I know. AJ Tracy's the only one I know. I also just like to add, I did link a Tion Wayne song to Miguel just a couple of days ago. Stop with these red herrings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, true. Hints. You know what? I'm going to go AJ Tracy because that's the only one I know. But if it's H, I'm going to be so annoyed. So I feel like AJ Tracy was the first one you listened to. It was your entry into the UK scene. Because I remember like last year or something. You started talking about AJ Tracy. I'm like, brother, where did this come from, Kush? <laughs> Last week you talked about Dua Lipa. Where did AJ Tracy come from? <laughs> or Jungle. No, what was the oh, other one? Jungle. Yeah, it was Jungle. Jungle. Um, they released two new tracks, by the way. Check them out. Stop. <laughs> Don't I, give them free publicity. Stop. <laughs> Sorry. RD. You know AJ Tracy No, no, no. RD. I'm working through this. RD has two songs. Let's be real. Body and Oliver Twist. Can't be your favorite oh, artist. Oh, that's awesome. So, okay. Tion Wayne has, you know, a lot of songs, good songs, but I'm going to have to go H because that's all you've linked me recently as well. I feel like Boys. I fucked it. I feel like I fucked it. Rowan Miggs were right with H. <laughs> um, Miggs did point out correctly my entrance was with AJ Tracy, but it was actually with an H song, and that was why I was into it. <sighs> There we go. I'm upset. Uh, that. <laughs> Next question. Should be nice and simple here, boys. Who was my favorite Transformer? Optimus Prime, <laughs> Megatron, Bumblebee, or Ironhide? That's two Transformers jokes you've somehow gotten in here. <laughs> That's impressive. Uh, oh, my God. Is it Bumblebee? We have yeah. three Autobots and one Decepticon in here. Dude, fuck off their Iron allegiance Hyder. is what <laughs> drives you to your favorite. <laughs> I thought Ironhide was a Decepticon. No, no, he's an Autobot. He has that famous saying where he goes, punk ass Decepticon. <laughs> <laughs> that should be a voice actor. Oh, my God. Uh, it's either it's either Optimus or Bumblebee. And those are the two. Um, also, I'm tossing up. Well, maybe it's Starscream. Starscream was pretty cool. He was a fighter jet, dude. Fortunately, he wasn't part of the four choices that what I the, named. What was the other option you gave? <laughs> There's Optimus Prime, Megatron, ah, Bumblebee, nah, or Megatron. Ironhide. He's a pussy ass bitch. Uh, <laughs> I'll go Optimus, <laughs> Mr. Prime, Amazon himself. I've done a few uh, memes for him as well. I'll go Bumblebee, just to just to get some points. Unfortunately, all three of you are wrong. I even gave you a hint with the quote. It is Ironhide. Uh, that's so musty. <laughs> Firstly, who has a first? Who has a favorite Transformer? <laughs> Secondly, why is it not Optimus Prime? <laughs> the fact that it's a musty ass Transformer. What did really what did um Rohit say? Rohit said Bumblebee. Ah, oh, fair enough. Three more questions to go, boys. Um, chocolates have been consumed this past year. <laughs> Here we go. This is all me. Come on, let's go. <laughs> what has been my favorite chocolate? Caramel, Kit Kat Caramel Crisp, Daryl Lee Caramel, or Whitaker's Caramel 33% Cocoa. I think Kush likes caramel. Uh, <laughs> also likes chocolate. 
Um, <laughs> see, Kamek is goat. Like we've established that <sighs> weeks and years and months. That's goat. But has he? Is the flavor of twenty twenty one something else? I'm looking in B. Kit Kat. Whatever you just said. I'm looking in B. <laughs> Was he the one on about Kit Kat the other day? What was option C? Daryl Lee Caramel. Nah, it's, There's no way you sway away bu- from- It's too bougie for you, bro. You, if you can't find that Coles, you're not buying it, bro. Look, you can't sway away from the goat, so I'm going to lock in A, Caramel Milk. Unfortunately, Sen was go. Um, oh, yeah. Kit Kat Caramel yes. Chris. Oh, my God. If you remember, there was one session where I vividly I stated- remember. That I, I remembered, but I didn't you know remember. What? Kush, you know why it's lived in my brain? Because every time <laughs> I've gone to Woolies, I've tried to look for that Kit Kat. I still haven't found it. <laughs> it's very rare. It's, most of the time, it's always sold out, and it is the my, my favorite My quest to find chocolate. that TikTok, sorry, that Kit Kat has got me this, <laughs> this, this, this answer. I think it was Transformers still, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys, it's the final run here. Two questions to go. This is a pretty simple one as well. The closest one will win. How many kills have I amassed in the game Warzone? I was waiting for a KD question, bro. <laughs> that was like too easy for me. Is this across, chest. <laughs> is this across all, like, All modes? games? All, um, no, 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 this is only Battle Royale. Only Battle Royale. Only so Battle trios, Royale. singles, Correct. boards, everything. Okay. Includes last night's session as well. What is the source That's of truth? You know, what's the source of information? Uh, Warzone is Call of Duty or is it Warzone Tracker? Oh, my God. <laughs> Warzone Tracker. Um, hmm. Closest one. Send you lock in something. Dude, this is... I am literally have nothing to go off right now. I don't know. How, how many games do we play? Can you at least tell us that? Think about the years, boys. We put in at least a year into this game. Hey, hang on. Let's not reveal how my sad our lives are right now. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give us your KD. Come on, let me try and work. Then send you give us your KD afterwards. <laughs> no, no, we won't do that. <laughs> my KD is over one. So okay. there yeah, you go. Just, that doesn't tell me how many times you die per game. I don't know. Would you like? Would oh. you like me to tell you the number of uh, games that I've played? Nah, look, Ro didn't get this much extra information, so nah, we'll we'll keep it at that. Okay. Was Ro anywhere near close to the answer? I just want to know that. Um, I can't say. I, I can't say. No, he, he, he didn't know what his answer is, but I just want to know how, how off he was. <laughs> he, he was off by a fair bit. He was off by a fair bit. <laughs> under or over? Has he understated you? He's, under, he's understated me big right, time. You know what? Classic, Actually, fuck you, right? You know, he yeah, he understated me. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I don't know where to go with this. Migs, you can answer this one first. I've been. No, <laughs> you're answering this first. I already <laughs> said that, bro. No, I've got, I got something in my head, but I don't want you to. <laughs> you stitch me up with the rapper one. You can answer this one first. 4,000. <laughs> Need to respect the game, Zen. 4,000. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> and one. Unfortunately. <laughs> 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 Bro was the closest, <laughs> even though he understated me. <laughs> Both of you boys overstated me. I'm not, I'm not a professional streamer. I don't know how many kills you're meant to get. Uh, I've only got a 2,089. Bro put 60, uh, 1,640. So he That's actually a pretty that. decent guess in the end, considering what me and Manny said. That is true. Bro was the closest. Last question, boys. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> This past year, I have scrambled words and phrases into my vocabulary. Out of these, which one is my favorite? These nuts, aligned, champagne comedy, or ee? <laughs> Sen has disappeared from the view. <laughs> Whilst we wait for Sen, I will give context. That is Kush's idol, Hasbulla. One of one of the greatest quotes from Hasbullah in the press conference against Abdu Rozik. I said has returned. I kind of wanted to say that answer just for the fun of it. Did I didn't see? Did Kush do one of these ones when he said it? He did not do the hand movement that Hasbullah does. Does I? <laughs> That's been more of a recent introduction into our vocabulary in the last few weeks. We haven't been saying E for a while. Um, champagne comedy. That's a classic as well. That's something we picked up in high school, but uh, I don't know if you've been saying that often. I wouldn't associate it with Kush. That's more I of a yeah. What was, uh, I know the second one. What was the first one? D's I nuts. swear to God, if it's D's nuts, it's, Kush. It's not D's nuts. It's, that's, again, very. Co- that's a very recent thing as well. I think it's aligned. It has to be aligned. Yeah, Kush got aligned from, yeah. <laughs> he, 
He got it from work line. and he's brought it into our group. So if it's not aligned, I'm not coming on to the next segment. I promise to God. <laughs> I'm also lucky and aligned. There's no way it's not. Well done, boys. All three of you got it right. It is indeed aligned. Inshallah. We are aligned with that. All right, boys. This was a close one. It was a very close one. Sen came last. What a what a turn. How, how the tables def- have turned. Reigning defending champion has what come last. H. He got five. Next, number two. Here we go. It was Miguel with six. Oh, he's missed off by one, unfortunately. Rohit, the victor, has emerged with seven, and he's only one because he's understated my Warzone <laughs> skills. You know what? We can't prove that he didn't cheat, so there's an asterisk exactly. to there's his win. Asterisk you know? There's one. an asterisk here. True. Especially no, the, you're the right. TikTok one, because he got 26, and because knowing his idiot mind, he probably miscounted. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think he cheated well, that yeah, one. Gentleman's one. To yeah. be fair, he also had 10 weeks in advance to prepare these answers. So. <laughs> yeah, so there's a uh, big asterisk here. I'm not, I'm not having it. Mix, at least you are the victor then. At least Woo! The one week. Oh, no, but I was going to say, at least the one week where Rogue could have won and should have won, he's not here to gloat in our faces. <laughs> so it's a small victory for us, really. Thank God. Let's go. Next segment. <laughs> this is Cockaby Cucked. This is a segment where we present a story to you, the Cuck Nation, where someone has been cucked or alphaed. We award cuckatoos and we think of ways to be the alpha in that scenario. So I'll kick us off with today's segment. Um, so, my first one actually comes from work. Um, so, recently, we've had a new intake of employees and we have a buddy system in place. So, you know, existing employees, they are the buddy for the new employees and they show them the ropes, you know, the small things like, you know, how to get to the office, internal systems, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so, I was assigned a buddy for some godforsaken reason and I have to guide someone through the company. <laughs> Um, Did you say how to get into the office? <laughs> it's a hard, it's a hard way to get into the office. I'll tell you that much, mate. There's roundabouts <laughs> and swings and God knows what. Um, so yeah, so I hit up my buddy obviously um, before we she started. I mean, obviously during work as well. So one of the first things I did. So in our chat system, um, you can decide to turn on or off the history, so you can see the messages from a week before, whatever. So I'm like, you know what? I'll turn it on. I want to remember your questions, remember what we talked about. So I turned it on, Messenger, whatever. And the next day, I noticed she turned it off. Didn't tell me. Did nothing. <laughs> and then the follow that. And then, and then that day, um, I sent her. She's like, she messaged me with no chat history. She's like, oh, I have a few questions. Can we meet? Uh, can we call on Friday night to discuss something? I'm like, when are you free? And she said, uh, 5 p.m. We can call. My training's done. So I sent her a calendar invite for 5 p.m. She clicked maybe, boys. <laughs> she fucks like maybe. <laughs> I've been done here. I've been absolutely done. And she's like, I will let you know. I'm like, that's why I asked for the time, you goose. I've What's happened to you, boys? I need, have I been cucked by someone that's been in the company for five days? Is that what's going on? You've <laughs> been cucked by someone who apparently doesn't know how to enter an office. Exactly. That's, Dude, that's good. That's I've funny. been done. So that so there's my question. So you can take them as separate events or just one whole cucking. How many cuckatoos first of all? Well, let's dissect this then. The first cucking. Where does it appear? Uh, when she turned the history back off. The history, I think that yeah. was that. That could have been a mistake though, because if, if it's a maybe she was just mucking around and just pressing some buttons. I don't know how hard is it to turn off. Now you got to click into settings. You got to click into history, and then you got to click the on off switch. <laughs> so it's not a one click. It's three clicks. It's three steps. So she's purposely done it. I think without notice as well to Biggs, there's an extra layer there because she knowingly, intentionally turned it off and was like, you know what? I will not inform him of this said decision. It will be left on set. It will be up to Miggs to find it out himself. Mm, that's a technical <sighs> cocking. <laughs> <laughs> it hurt. There's one there. Um, and then the second one, I guess. Actually, no, you get an extra one for becoming a buddy against your will. No consent <laughs> whatsoever. <laughs> So, there's your first one. The second one was the technical cucking. And then the third one was... The thing is, like, if she said no, I think 
It wouldn't be as funny. It's the fact that it's a maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you understand. I asked her, when are you free? She said 5 p.m. And I sent the invite instantly. I sent it instantly. And then I got an email instantly of her. In- like, maybe. Of a maybe. Tentative. The tentative. I exactly. Think- I got an email for it. I don't think I've ever clicked maybe on a maybe calendar. Either. It's either yes exactly. or no for me. Exactly. Or you nah. propose another time. That is that is <laughs> unreal, honestly. It's it's a lockdown as well. She's got no plans on a Friday night. So like what is she looking like what does she mean by like I'll let you know? Like what? <laughs> what she got on? I don't on? know, bro. I don't know. I was stunned. I didn't know what to do. <laughs> so was there any traction after that? Like did you like did you message her being like, Oh, is five PM still on? You know, if it's four PM approaching. On the on the day at like four thirty, I remembered uh we have a tentative meeting today so i messaged her are we still on and she's like yeah i'm free so we we called at five but she didn't update the invitation to yes she didn't update the invitation nor did she (laughs) nor did she come up to me i had to reach out and ask are we on she won't be lasting long at this firm i can tell you that now but so yeah so you'll get a cuck for her giving you a maybe and then saying i'll let you know i think there's two or three there <laughs> in lockdown add the lockdown to yeah this <laughs> guy's cuck there there's, quite a, there's a lot to unpack there so you you got cucked on many different levels on that one and then for you to go to her on the friday tail between your legs asking oh are we still on the owner of the invite exactly you're okay i think I think we're going to have to give you 10 for this across the board for all the cuckers. I'm going to also say the, the company has cucked you because they have given you a buddy to show around where the office is. That's- She's at home. <laughs> <laughs> Are you showing around her bedroom? <laughs> Did she ask her to show her her own bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> this is where I piss. Wait, no. <laughs> this is, this is going to be 10. Like it- yeah, it's a 10 for sure. And she had questions for me. I didn't have questions for her. So I was happy to not have this meeting. That was the fucking thing. And the thing is, I can't see how you're going to cut her back in any way. Like, that's, exactly. You've been done by someone who's barely been there a week. <laughs> yeah, because even if you say no to her calendar invite, it's not a cucking. It, it's just exactly. not. Yeah. <laughs> it's been done. Like, it's just retaliation. It's so there's, no, there's nothing I could have done there's to be the no. alpha in this scenario. You could have ignored her on the Friday, is what I would have said. But then, no, you had to message her. So that's, again... <sighs> I think you just be the big man. She said, maybe. That's it. All right. Maybe. If she wants to call, she'll call you. <laughs> I've been done, boys. I've been done. All right. I've got one for this week as well. Um, on the on the um, theme of lockdown, this one caught my eye during the week. So, I was looking through the news and I see that nude sunbathers have been fined for breaching Sydney COVID-19 <laughs> lockdown laws. And I'm like, okay, here we go. <laughs> so, I was looking through it and apparently what happened was Nude sunbathers were startled by a group of deers. And so they got scared and they ran into the bush. They got lost. And then they had to get helicopters to come rescue them from the bush. What the hell? And they were nude the entire time. (laughs) So they got given $1,000 fines. They got rescued in the nude by a helicopter. (laughs) Actually, imagine I'm right now imagining like Ride of the Valkyries playing as the helicopter's <laughs> going over the bush. <laughs> and the New South Wales Police Commission had to come out the next day and explain what had happened. And he said, it's difficult to legislate against idiots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Lord. This is a big one as well. This is, uh, this so, is quite immense. Yeah, so, for me, there's a number of cuckings here. So, firstly... Nude sun baking, bathing. <laughs> that that's what the hell was that? So, firstly, they got be done in general. Be done. So that's just rare behavior. Secondly, they got startled by deers, not like like dingoes or a fox or like an alligator or a crocodile. A deer, bro. You can eat that. That's fine. It's a deer, bro. <laughs> just throw a rock at it. It's okay. <laughs> so they got startled by a deer. They, thirdly, they got so scared they ran into the bush <laughs> so far. <laughs> And they got lost. <laughs> they got lost. How far did they run? It's a deer. Deers don't run that fast, what? brother. Just zigzag a bit and you're good. Oh. So three, they got lost. I don't think they're chasing. Four. Exactly. A deer's not chasing you. <laughs> Four. They had to have helicopters come get them. <laughs> helicopters. SES had to get involved. This was a Navy SEAL operation at this point. <laughs> to get two nude idiots out of the bush. Oh. And then five. They got fines for $1,000 for breaking lockdown laws. And then six, 
the com- police commissioner call them idiots <laughs> to the whole national media the next day. That is the biggest one I've got to say. I think that's, that. the biggest one. that's out publicly, dude. This is like that's a that's a, that's a media cuck. That's what it is. <laughs> Global. <laughs> it's a nature cuck, a media cuck, wasting taxpayer dollar cuck. There's a lawful cuck by the commissioner there. They're sending helicopters. Let them go, bro. Actually, <laughs> Sen, you bring up a good point. Waste of taxpayer dollars. Have we been cucked? It's an, it's an indirect cuck on us, to be honest, yes. Oh. So there's, there's seven potential cuckies or cucky scenarios here. <laughs> I think these, the nudists, they're getting at least 20, like, we gave Manny 10. That We let him off easy, really, compared to these guys. <laughs> these guys are getting at least 20. I dare say even 50. They are the <laughs> god king of Cockernation right now. That's what they are. <laughs> They're the runaway leaders. <gasps> a deer. A deer. That's like a make, up, make up a story. Say it was a bear. Say it was Bigfoot or something. <laughs> say Osama <laughs> was in there. Why a deer? <laughs> <laughs> who, who gets scared by a deer, bro? <laughs> Just yell back at the deer to run away. <laughs> Think about it. These guys got taken by helicopters with their nuts out. <laughs> their wangs were out. Literally, they were getting they were getting airlifted, and their wangs are just dangling in the breeze <laughs> as these helicopters are taking them to safety. Oh, but here's the thing: the people operating the helicopters have they been cucked that they have to oh, see big, big the time. dangling, they did, they did dangling not sign bits? Up for this. They did not sign up for this at all. <laughs> <laughs> I think the real question here. Who hasn't been cucked in this scenario? <laughs> this everyone. We've everyone. been cucked. They've been cucked. The bloody. I'm going to say Mother Earth has been cucked. Mother Earth herself has been cucked to see these two absolute hooligans. The only one I can think of all this is the New South Wales Police Commissioner <laughs> who got to zing these guys. That's the only person who comes out of this on top. I'll say the deer one. I'll say that. Oh, as and well. the deer one as well. The deer but- became a predator for once in its life. <laughs> Dear. Apart from that, <laughs> only, only, it's Bambi. <laughs> <laughs> Get her an ice. All right, I've got. I don't know, boys. hasn't been hasn't been a good week for me. I've got one more. To, oh, here we go. To add this podcast two parter. One part is good for me. One part not so good. So the first part, Sen, you were involved here yesterday. We decided to do a bit of outdoor exercise. Right. Mm. So we went to our local park to play a bit of a bit of soccer at the soccer goals. First of all, when we got there, it was fucking packed, Sen. Like, groups of it 10, was, right, there was like 50. You know, the, the rule at the moment is one person per every, what is it, four square meters? Yeah, I think there so. There was at least yeah. three people per four square meters. It was a <laughs> soccer field, and I dead said there was about 300 people on that soccer field. <laughs> Not quite 300, Sen, but there were- the- <laughs> It was like a gentleman's 100 at least. <laughs> There, there, there was a lot. All right, so we got there thinking, oh, no, we wanted to shoot at a goal. You know, we're not going to get an opportunity. But Rohit, who is not here with us today, his brothers were at the park already and secured us a goal at like 3 p.m., let's say. Gentlemen's 3 p.m. Mm. So we're shooting. having We Price literally right. rock up, start shooting when we see all these other groups wanting to get the goal. So we've come in just with our chest taken over half this field. <laughs> So then we're playing. Every every 15, 20 minutes, Kush, a different group would come up to Sen and be like, hey, what time do you guys think you're going to leave? Sen, with his chest. <laughs> Not anytime soon, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to lie to them, you know what I mean? Like, Yeah, true. You didn't want to set a false expectation. We were literally the last people to leave. We were dead set the last people to leave the park. <laughs> like, it was dark at that point. There was probably deers around there. <laughs> So, in this scenario, what could have the other people have done? So, we've cucked them, right, in this first scenario. What could they have done to cuck us? Nothing. Considering really. we've come They're in, kids. not even waiting. We didn't wait. We just hopped on the goal and started shooting like we ran yeah, the place. I think they could have cucked you. I think there's, there's, there's big scenarios here where they could have cucked you. One specifically being that the group just joins you silently. They just go in. They start kicking into the goals. They just join you. No, you have Not to even a word mind. said. These people, were, like, they were literally kids. Like, these were, like, <laughs> at most, like, 11, 12. Like, they, weren't, they were not barely teenagers. Nah, squeakers so, like, they were gonna, don't know how to cuck back. And nah. there was, like, a group of, like, six, seven of us who were all in our, about our 20s. So, there's no way they were going to try and alpha us. or try Hitting absolute join. missiles at the goal, bro. Exactly. I, I think you've, you've cucked them already because the age difference. They're young. They've been cucked <laughs> by the age. How dare they be born later? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I, like, I'm, like, I was trying to think about this last night as well. And really, like, if I was in their position, I was trying to think, what would I have done? But really, like, you can just ask, and that's there's not much. It. Like, there's not there's, much. There's really not much you can do. Like, 
it's just well you got to cop the L. It's it's the circle of life, you know. It's the food pyramid. <laughs> I reckon Migs could have cucked them more if he started doing the L dance in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I think I would have lost some points there, bro. I would have lost some cockatoos. Anyways, that brings me to my second point. So we kicked the ball around yesterday, but that didn't scratch my itch to kick a ball. So this morning I woke up keen. I live across the street from a pitch, so I was keen, but they have rugby posts, so whatever. I'm like, ah, I'm so keen. I'm going to kick some soccer balls at a rugby post. So I get there. I ha- it's just me this time. I don't have a group. So it's just me, my few soccer balls, my boots, whatever. I put that down. You know, I take one ball out. I'm starting to warm up. You know, I ping a few at the goal to warm up. And then before I know it, this play family comes in. Big dad, mum, dog, three kids. They start setting up their footy tees. They start fucking <laughs> kicking their footies in the goal I was already using. All right. So I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? I'm clearly using this goal already. W- what's happening here? So, first of all, I want to say how, before I say what I did afterwards, cockatoos, how many cockatoos do I get? Uh, that's the classic family cock, you know? Like, what can you do when, they, when you bring your wife, the dog, the kids? You one know, for like, each what? member, honestly. You're, yeah, you're taking a big one there. There's, you have, yeah. there's no, there's nothing you can come I back I think the from fact that. that it's silent as well, they didn't give you any notification. They were just like, man. They didn't, even, they didn't even ask if, like, if I was using the goal or anything. They just came and fucking kicked. That's the beauty of it. It's the arrogant cuck. They know you're not going to say anything. They have kids, bro. That's it. Kids trumps everything. Like if kids by themselves are the lowest in the cuck <laughs> tiering, right? But kids with their parents and any form of adult supervision, immediately the top, bro. You're not with beating a, that shit any day of the week. With a pet, no less. Exactly. This is a family exiting Dude, this their is house. This is a nuclear family coming at you. You can't <laughs> beat that, bro. You can't You can't do anything against it. Hurt. Anything higher than that is old white people. That is <laughs> the ultimate. <laughs> but this, this is basically as good as that. So, yeah, what did you do? Now, first, I also want to know, if you're in my shoes... What are you doing? You take the L. I you find another goal purse, bro. Yeah, it's theirs right. now. Back. It's theirs. I'm now. glad. I'm you glad. Could take you take their pet that. and run away. <sighs> yeah, hold it hostage. <laughs> I was a bit. It was a big dog. I was scared. Now, nah, but what I did was, you're right. I took the L. I got my soccer ball, but I didn't find another. There was no other goal post, unfortunately. Mm. So what I did was, I just juggled the ball on my own for 45 minutes, waited for them to fuck off. After that 45 minutes was done, I'm like, they fucked off. I'm like, I'm going to use this goal now. I stayed. I had to stay to like make my weight worthwhile. So I was late to the podcast recording for today. That's why I was late because I had to wait around for this fucking right. goal. We've been cucks. We <laughs> we're we're, right. we're indirect cuck here as well. <laughs> yeah, you've been indirectly this, affected by this. Uh, this is just a lesson for all listeners as well, though. If you want to get ahead somewhere, if you want to basically cuck people as you will, Bring your parents, your grandparents, your kids, <laughs> a dog. Bring a deer if you'd like. Bring a deer. Like, <laughs> it's strength in numbers, really. That is what we've yeah. proven today. We did it with the kids when we were playing soccer yesterday. We offered them because there was about 10 of us, maybe. And then they did it to you today. It's strength yeah, in numbers, as, brother. As soon as this happened, I thought this was karma. This is instant karma. All right, guys. That brings us to the end of this Rohitless episode. Hopefully, that man fixed his internet and we'll be back next week. As per usual, please join the TCB Appreciation Society on Facebook. Um, I've got two things to shout out as well. Check out Loki on Disney Plus if you haven't already. Great little show. Four episodes in. <laughs> so, if you're looking for something to do for a few hours, I recommend that. And secondly, um, please go get your COVID shots. I beg of you. People in Sydney, Australia, the world, get that Pfizer in you. AZ, no? AstraZeneca? Not for us youngins. And I've seen the demographics of our listeners. I, I would not recommend AZ. <laughs> we could be without a few listeners. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Going off that first point, Ray Hitless episode, let us know if you enjoyed the Ray Hitless episode. <laughs> no? Let us know if we have to make that business decision moving forward to maybe go without Ray Hitless. He didn't come and he still won a game somehow. The <laughs> <laughs> Bastard. Or maybe we yes. limit him to maybe 10 minutes per episode. <laughs> <laughs> no, he has to write in all his messages by yeah, mail. He communicates. <laughs> he doesn't get a mic anymore. He just gets mail. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, if you want to see the rest of our episodes, including the one we did last week with Jack Post, actually, check that out. Great episode. I was not in most of it, but it was still a good episode. <laughs> you can check those out on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or any of your favorite podcast apps. And with all that, we'll see you guys next week. <laughs>